Hi everybody, it's Anibon Nani. Welcome to my channel. Today is the second day of our training at Riverside Hotel. No, oh, I'm not feeling well today. I have uh, a headache. So I'm hoping that uh, our training will be even shorter. Uh, yeah, but um, I'll try and vlog again today. Never depends if vlog too, but 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 vlog can. But pila impila enjan. Let's have this conversation honestly. But pila impila enjan because mean I feel like if you vlog every day, then your vlog is gonna be the same. If you are living in Bilifan and Niam, because I wake up in the morning, go to work, <laughs> work and then go home. So oh vlog too, but at least it's for which people? Eh, it's for which? It's for who? Who is the person that does something different every day? That their vlog is different every day. Yo, I, people are living an interesting life out there. It's in a sister here working. <laughs> I really feel like my vlogs would be there. If I had to really do a vlog, so far, it would be so boring. But Usuglam would be made of me going to work and then me coming back from work. Okay. Anyway. We right, uh, we are arriving in Devon because we want to see if the pharmacy is open so I can get um, something and then we'll be heading to uh, Riverside Hotel. Yesterday I was one of the three people that were in jeans and very very casual. Other people were like smart casual, not too formal but smart casual. So today I'm still in jeans. Okay, no, I'll, I'll show you. <laughs> but I wore formal shoes so that I look a little bit like, you know, uh, so that I look, I look a little bit like uh, I'm at work. He <laughs> said I was even wearing flat boots. <laughs> so yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, we're just arriving in Germany. There's always something about arriving in Durban. I remember when I used to live in Joburg, like you, you have this feeling you go to you, I'm home, you know? <laughs> so when you live outside of uh, the outside of your city where you're from, uh, it gives you that feeling every time you just come back, like, yeah, this is where I belong, this is where I'm comfortable. No it's okay. <laughs> I'm a para as a spunda now, Amani. I know I'm a para in Ghana's about thing was here, Amani. So it's, there's something about German. But anyway, what is so, so today I, I changed, I will, you know, but I'm still in my jeans just to look a little bit like I'm serious because I thought I, yesterday I was, too, I, was, I, was, I was too casual. And what's going to happen is that everybody else is going to come really, really casual. <laughs> Because it's our last day of training, we're going back uh, to the office uh, tomorrow. So we are here. We are here in town today. Something has a drop in the inside. And if you know Devin, you know where we are exactly.
I'm gonna be late today because I just need to get something for this headache otherwise I won't be able to concentrate on what will be going on at the workshop so it's already uh, like a few minutes after 8 and we're here in town and this pharmacy next to city hospital and we're getting uh, some tablets and then okay, we'll be on our way I'm premiering a video actually right now Joseph versus Owami <laughs> and uh, yeah I'm wondering what the, the other creators are going to think because I'm talking about I'm talking to creators listen our viewers are free to think whatever <laughs> but I, I have a question for the creators because I'm like <laughs> let's talk okay yeah anyway I'm gonna be on my way we're gonna be on our way very soon okay Guys, I thought I would mention this is City Hospital. Those who live in Devon know City Hospital. Yeah. And this hospital, yo, know, we have a lot of history with this hospital. Two of my kids, Olongi no Amanda, were born in this hospital. And back then, it was even you know, nicer. It's a private hospital. It's still nice, but you know, recently I was looking at it and I was like, yo, it's not as it used to be but both uh, Amanda and Siposet were born here not um, Amanda and Siposet Lungi and Siposet were born here at City Hospital Usipo was born at King Edward Hospital but she also Usipo you all was admitted Mrs. Saziwalan it was like you know we out and we back and we out and back this is where she was admitted <laughs> and that's sort of where I talk about moving her from uh, Inkosi Albert to the hospital to a private hospital we came to city hospital because this is where we met with dr thompson who later on became a lifesaver if you are in devon you need to dr wayne and find out with dr ingrid thompson the best doctor you can ever have when it comes to the kids especially kids that have uh, medical conditions there is a doctor that will do everything she can to help your child she will tell she will get you i remember her saying listen for this child i want the best of the best she was looking for dietitians she was looking for physios and like nurses will suggest uh certain people and she would be like no i want the best of the best for this child and for the doctors who say that about your child like you feel like my child is in good hands so it all started here she now works uh, her rooms are at uh, Dudok hospital which is also here in town so when we come it's now and then we do come and see every time i feel like because now she's far we in peter marin's bed but like every time i'm supposed going through something where i feel like the doctors that we're seeing are not able to figure out what's going on and what the next step should be i always go and see with dr thompson uh because i know that she's just going to give me the best advice even with the hip issue when it got to a point where we just didn't know what to do she's the one that referred me to dr frazier and dr frazier did the operation and uh, dr thompson also has a child with special needs so she was like listen this operation i'm not just referring you to just anybody uh this doctor did an operation on my on, on my own child and it went well so yeah that's how it is so this is the, the city hospital okay now i got the meds now we can be on our way thanks babe I know I don't use it all the time so and the ERB is I'm also telling her the whole box and she ears yeah, but then yeah, it's fine so I'm, I'm thinking
they had to use Sometimes I need it black. I think there's chicken on it. <laughs> For what? Outsource residence? Uh, 
I will pull a little bit of 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 a We are on our break right now, so I'm just going to go to the bathroom. And oh, Niazela today, because I took a cordon. That's the only thing that I could uh, get from the pharmacy. So, 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 so this is where my question 
now you guys uh, finally because Benzela you know and the things that are being discussed there are quite interesting very important for work but yo Benzela 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 and I didn't have a choice because it was either I take the pills and Benzela or I don't and then I have just this massive headache the whole time so I chose Benzela but now we're at lunch. I'm sitting here at the corner here. You know, I like to sit at the Guys, I'm antisocial. <laughs> I am a little bit ahead of times when I'm like, would prefer to spend time all by myself. So I'm sitting here, you know, and I'm lunch, you know, and I'm telling you that I'm going to miss me. Yo, I tell you, me the whole day. <laughs> I don't get paid enough to be speaking so much English. Eh? Yeah, but I'll, I'll, I'll show you guys the food. Yes, and today I get fish because yesterday I was so disappointed that I thought they had fish but they had chicken. So let me show you the food. <laughs> so here's the food. Obviously, it costs like salad, guys, and they make such perfect coleslaw and uh, lemon for the fish. And this is chicken breast and then that is it looks like stir fried but it doesn't look fried it's just veggies and a bit of chicken in it and then there is like a potato wedges and just I just want to look a little bit healthy just a little bit <laughs> and then I'm sitting here I forgot to take the serviette and I forgot to take the drink so I'm hoping that the servers will come this side and totally drink and stuff so yeah this is this is my food i think it's okay i taste this is a corn okay zobona corn
so today is the day that I posted that um, video that was it two versus or one yeah, when I like the airwoods and then I am chosen true. I really didn't take it seriously when people started saying because I thought they're just saying it as a joke because people do say that we sound the same. But I thought that people knew which it's not we're not the same person because uh Josie Chook has videos on her channel with her face on them. She does. Like if you go look at her old videos, you can see her. So she hasn't always done ama voiceovers she has done ama sit downs so if you want to know who josie chook is you can go on her channel and see her so that's why i never took it seriously because i thought if if somebody really wants to know if we are the same person you know they can go on her channel and find out i show my face she doesn't but in earlier videos she did hey but today now I think I agree with people that are saying what a name. A lot of these uh, viewers here on YouTube are kids. They really are kids. Because if you are an adult, I am a knife. If, if you've seen a video with a person's face, but you are still insisting it's that other one, but you can see the face and the, and the voice. At this point, it's a joke. Then they go on back as well and they say it's bad. <laughs> they say it's Bako. Bako is closer, speaks easy, closer. It's closer than Zulu, guys. It's not the same at all. I do not know how to speak closer. I can understand people speaking in closer, but I don't know closer. Uh, and Ujozi Chup is Zulu. So I was understanding the comparison between me and her because we both Zulu. And our accent might be similar because we are both Zulus from KZN. But to say, uh, Josie Chuk is back home. Hi. <laughs> Woo, are you YouTube guys? I ah, know. Hmm. Anyways, of course, October in terms of the like, revenue on YouTube has to be better than September because September was a disaster. So, as long as you are coming in my video clicking and you are counted as the view. Thank you so much, Mkase. I appreciate it. <laughs> How you comment, I lay your your nasi holel. Who want to comment the negative or comment the what's in a scrolling along? Scrolling, who want to click it? What about you, Vic? No matter what, but you skip. But the zero comma zero 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 one second that you watched it, you are making me mad. So it's okay, you guys okay but then i appreciate that a lot of the people really honestly they're having honest and matured response to the video uh even people that don't agree with me like a lot of them are just saying that i don't agree with you and these are the reasons i don't mind those people and by the way the video was not even meant uh for just viewers who are not youtubers it was meant more for youtubers but obviously other viewers will review too and they will comment that's why i'm not having any arguments in the comment section because i feel like i'm a youtubers would understand my, what my question is and if they want to respond they can either respond in the comment section or they can do videos as well maybe explaining their part or maybe disagreeing with me i'm cool with any of that i am cool you guys i'm cool okay so let me have my food here so that i can go back inside Hopefully today we will finish early too. But too long it just called because they were at school uh, this week. They didn't close for the holidays, so she said they, they said they can go home today because the classes are, are, are cancelled for tomorrow. So we will have to go fetch her afterwards and then go home. All right, you guys, let me eat. Let me eat this food, okay? It's such a nice uh, place, yes, the, the birds are chirping. I'm just like looking at, at listening. It, it takes time for me to really like absorb and appreciate those sounds of the birds, of the trees, and whatever. Because Tina's Kulelegu zona lives in Demakaya, you know? <laughs> so now when you are leaving, 
Emma Dolope, then you come back and you're like, you're going to call that color when you're in the end. Let me absorb it and enjoy it. Yeah, yeah, well, you're all the But it's like, color when you're in the most of color when you're in. Yeah. All right, let me. It's. Look at all those nests. Yes, it's doggish. It's in training and that government, the government of that tree is really providing housing, eh? So much housing, nice houses too. <laughs> they have a good governance, very, very good. It looks good. Their country looks good. <laughs> What happened to my camera now? I'm trying to clean it and it's just not doing it. So I'm gonna go inside, guys. I've eaten. I'm gonna get my drink and then go back because I wanna edit this one video while being a boy from lunch and that I hopefully I'll be able to post later on today or at same. And then, yeah, the, that will be my YouTube. I haven't posted yesterday, I didn't post enough today, I didn't post enough. Was coming to them and it's hard to do videos in the morning because I have to wake up early so yeah but I'm trying I'm trying let me just go and see how far I can get because it's a voiceover so I have to do the photos and all that for my story to make sense <laughs> all right then
<laughs> he does. So let me close this vlog because sometimes I forget that I was vlogging and then it just ends up right here. So we finished with the workshop and then uh, I didn't betray uh, Mr. Kara here today. I, <laughs> I'm coming back with him but uh, we're going to go for too long from school. Apple's and then go home. It's raining. It, it weather even there shit. Yes. I even weather these days. Even there shit. It's raining. But hopefully, uh, I won't get bad because it's very difficult to drive that side. Um, and stuff. So yeah, you guys. That's it. That's a uh, vlog tour. I think that's all we're gonna get. I this thing of vlog every day. Yeah, I like that in another bed. Mm -mm, YouTube must pay, pay Amma vloggers more. I give them permission. Pay vloggers more because this is just a lot of work. And we have to create content like constantly. I mean, I'm going to call it a vlog. But yeah, that's it. Okay. <laughs> 